Hello Park kids and families! Whether you're watching this video as a review from Sunday morning or because you didn't make it here on Sunday, I'm just so glad that you're here watching it now. What you're about to experience is some worship so you can sing and dance and worship Jesus together and then you will watch our weekly Bible story video. This video and the story changes every week and it's the same video that we watch here at the Park Church on Sunday mornings. And then at the end, there will be some discussion questions that you and uh, your family can discuss and dive deeper into the lesson together. I encourage you to do that as a family. Asking questions and discussion is how we grow in deeper relationship and understanding of who Jesus is. And then lastly, in the description below, there are some lesson bonuses, like a weekly coloring sheet. And so I also encourage you to check that out. I pray that as you watch this video, that you grow uh, together as a family in your relationship with Jesus. Take care and have a great week.
to share stories from the Bible. I have a great story to share today, but first I have a question. Have you ever felt like you needed help with a big job? Maybe you had to pick up your toys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or put your clothes away. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have help, isn't it? Today's story is about helpers. There was a group of people called the Israelites, and they were very special to God. They were so special, he promised them a beautiful land to live in. There was another group of people called the Gibeonites. They knew that the Israelites were very special to God, so they wanted to be friends with them. The Israelites and the Gibeonites made a promise to each other and a promise to God that they would never fight each other. They also promised to help protect each other. There was a king who didn't like that they became friends. He was afraid they would be too powerful for his army. So he got four other kings to join all their armies together and they went to fight the Gibeonites. But remember, God's special people made a promise to help their new friends. So their leader, Joshua, led his army to help. <laughs> they marched all night and surprised the enemy armies. The Gibeonites were so glad they didn't have to fight alone. God helped them in their battle by dropping giant hailstones on the enemy. The battle lasted a long time, so long that Joshua was afraid the sun would go down and it would become dark. This was a long time ago, before light bulbs had been invented and fighting in the dark was really dangerous. Trusting God to help him, Joshua prayed and told the sun and moon to stand still so it could stay daytime. And God listened to Joshua. The sun stayed in the sky. The moon didn't rise. It stayed daylight. Because they trusted God, Joshua and the Israelites helped their friends win the battle. Isn't that amazing? God listened to Joshua and helped the Israelites. You know what else is amazing? God listens to our prayers too. Whatever we say to him, we can trust that God hears us. I'm so thankful that the same God that helped people in the Bible can help us too. Bye everyone, thanks for listening to my story.